right, Scorpio, let's do Scorpio. We're doing pop-up readings with the Rumi and, okay, Celtic Cross, Lenormand, Scorpio. My heart felt the glow of life ripped open in bloom. Okay, so there's someone that really, um, help you blossom. That's what I'm getting. Soul has no joy without love. Who got that? Someone else got that card. All right, let's see. See the power of the one who speaks the truth. All are ruled by divine justice beyond the law. Okay, so you could be a Libra here that is investigating your Scorpio rising or moon, perhaps. Okay, that's what I'm getting with that. If you've been questioning who is telling the truth, people can be in different realities in this plane. So what seems like a non-truth can actually be their truth, right? But then there is this universal truth. Okay, so... And the way to gauge that is through that inner world that is you. You are in the ear. You are in the mind. You are in every burning heart. What am I saying? You are I. I feel like you're reaching for oneness, unity. Your touch dazzles all creation. Every particle is attracted to you, longing to unite and dwell in you. Let's get another one. I am not a dust of air. I am not a fire or water. I am from the source where all these are united. Ooh, this is like nice unity energy. I love it. It's like the way you do things, nobody else can do it like you, right? doesn't matter what you're doing. It's like you bring your personal touch uh, wherever you go. And I feel like that spirit um, giving a nod to you um, and letting you know uh, your worthiness, the love that they feel for you, right? That they are with you. Okay, that's beautiful. Okay, this is like union and unity energy. And I feel like it's a collective love energy. That's what I feel like this is. That's interesting. These little circle things I see a lot on Greek or Italian stuff. Let's keep going. Okay, so I'm getting like hibernation energy, which is interesting because I kind of got that for Sagittarius. Okay, and in... 
whatever that was, the past experience, whether it's like money and those kind of things, I feel like you're going to move away from that. Okay. It's like following your inner GPS. Okay. It's opening up the keys to a new reality here. 15. Okay, so I'm getting this as... Wow, it's like the meal is a snake. Let me see what that is. Oh, okay. This is what I'm getting. Whatever you see the energy as enemy or... What is that? Yeah, okay. So... Whatever you see this energy as an enemy or uh, something not positive, okay, you want to free yourself from that. And that is a message from a mother type energy. This could be Gaia, it could be a physical mother, non physical mother, but that feminine divine energy is coming through and saying, take your focus off of that and focus on. Um, Okay, for this is a little aside for someone. Okay, mother is saying there is some kind of greenhouse. Greenhouse where there's like glass, but um, in, inside of there are a bunch of plants and stuff. Okay, in the wintertime, you can go in there and uh, hang out with the plants when you feel stressed. <laughs> okay. And there's a garden, too. Mother's garden. Okay, I'm getting that. Okay, so. But here's Lily. Capricorn got that. So you may have been in Capricorn energy. Okay, or that Capricorn moon. So that could have been some tough stuff. Okay, and I feel like you want to bring in love and money. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so here is... What is that? 26. Esoteric knowledge secrets. Okay, so I take time to study the mysteries of life, and I feel like nature is a great teacher, right? The other thing I'm getting is um, the latest versions of all books are within. Okay, so if you take that moment in silence, I feel like you could tap into that. Okay, and what else? Um, not putting your spiritual life, putting your spiritual life in the forefront will lead the way, light the path. Secrets can be harmful in some circumstances. It may take some study or research to clarify whether these secrets are positive or negative. But I've been getting that. It's like sometimes when people suppress things and hide things, that's when things come out, bubble up in the face of reality here in the world, right? And it may not come out so great. <laughs> so I feel like it's important to communicate um, as we're moving along things that need to be addressed instead of suppressing it and pushing it down. I'm getting that heavy. Okay, so let's get some other cards. I like that. Woo! Okay. Okay, so Aquarius. You may be connecting with an Aquarius because they had something about a boiling pot. Okay. Or someone with Aquarius heavy in their chart. So they could be in Aquarius energy, but any sign. Okay. So they may have gone through some healing. What is this? 28. <laughs> I feel like there 
there's a desire to mend something with this shady character. Okay. Now, whoever this shady character is. But, you know, it's like the, they're giving me this phrase here. I'm getting this as castle reversed. Okay, so sometimes if they've been practicing something for mm, 70 years, that's what I'm getting with that seven, 70 years, are they going to change? Probably not. Okay, but what you can't do is look to the sunny side, focus on you and uh, your manifestations, and take your focus off whatever this character is. Okay, and I feel like um, you will enjoy the fruits of your labor. This is like harvest. Okay, now I wouldn't stay out of gossip. That's what I'm getting. Stay in our gossip. And what is this? Okay, let's see. I want to get one more card. Stay out of gossip. Keep things light and fun. I feel like you're good at doing that. Okay. This could be Thanksgiving for um, some Americans. Okay. Sunny side up. That's what I'm getting. Okay, yeah, the wheel is turning. That's what I'm getting. 11 is like leading edge energy. Okay, what is that? One, two, three. Perfect pattern. Beginning of a perfect pattern. Okay. Get another one. Following your inner GPS. Okay, so what is this? I need to know what that is. Hmm. A Bardus. News, messages, and information. Okay, so. I feel like those messages will bring in the new. Okay, that's what I'm getting with that. And what's interesting is, here's a broom. And if you put a broom, this is an old witch's tale, right? You put a broom by the door and, and it scares off all the uh, shadow stuff. Okay, and this one has one right by his side. I don't know if you can see it. It almost looks like a, a, a person, but it's a broom or a mop with like a wand. So that's the new beginning coming in. Okay, and so be open to the messages that are coming. It's like listen to the things. Okay. Yeah, so spiritual messages are on the way to you. So pay attention in your surroundings is what I'm getting. And I feel like uh, I'm getting like an old carriage here. Okay, so if you've been questioning death and life cycle, rebirth cycle, okay, what I'm getting is... Um, if you pay attention into your surroundings, you'll see that there is an afterlife. It's like the body is a vessel. And uh, so by understanding that, that that's the clay, right? And that we are eternal beings. That message is coming in. Yeah, so... Sometimes it's a tough journey, right, to bring in those eggs, those new hatchlings. Okay. And what I'm getting with this eight of hearts is like, what is the definition and meaning of love anyway? I'm getting something like that. 
Let's see. This is a Huntress energy I'm getting. Okay. So a Huntress energy. Hunter. Okay. And see how the fox is here? And uh, so some of you already have a partner. So it's like spend more time there. I feel like uh, it's right there where you are. And I feel like this one caught you. <laughs> Okay, so I feel like that's, that could be where you could get encouragement. Okay. Now, the, uh, some, uh, some others are looking out, and you, you have to travel. There's water here, body of water, to uh, get to your person. And you feel like they're your lucky charm. And I feel like you might be right there. leave you with that.